Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. We're back, or I'm back, for the final international matches to close out 2021. In this video, I'll be discussing and reviewing the match between Germany's women's national team and Turkey's women's national team. Germany, one of the powerhouses in women's soccer, taking on Turkey. I want to thank and believe... Turkey isn't going to lay down and roll over for the German team. I want to believe that Turkey is going to put up a fight and make the German team fight for their win. But honestly, I feel as though this game is just going to be another walk in the park for the German team. Don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't want Germany to lose. I want Germ Germany to win all their matches with a lot of goals. But... I'm not going to lie, and I've said it before, watching Germany take on these smaller teams is kind of boring because Germany isn't really being challenged. The German team is walking past the opposing team's defenders like they're going for a Sunday stroll and then they find the back of the net. When Germany does lose the ball, they're just like, oh, that's cute, Mario, De Britz, someone go get it. Germany is just going to do what they did against Serbia, Bulgaria, and Israel. They're going to keep and maintain possession for the whole game and then keep crossing and attacking until they find the back of the net. If they lose possession, Mario, De Britz, Heinrich, one of them will get it. <laughs> lineup, okay, so let's get into the lineup. Lineup, standard 4-3-3. We have Merle Fromms in the goal for defenders, Maximilian Rall, Lena Oberdorf, and Jana Feldkamp. Oh, and Felicitas Rausch. For midfielders, Lina Magul, Shoke, um, Shoka Nuskin, and Sarah Debritz. For forwards, Svenja Huth, Leah Schuler, and Clara Bull. Interesting lineup. I find the lack of Maro disturbing. Eh, not really. Probably saving her for the Portugal match, which I can imagine will be a little harder because Portugal has been winning their matches. Anyway, Mauro has been left off of this lineup for this game today. With Even though she's been left off, um, Magul, Nuskin, and De Britz is still there in the midfield. Like, they're still going to be, it's still going to be a very strong and solid midfield. Like, these three can either rack up goals or rack up assists. Huth and Schuler in the attack, strong goal scoring energy, especially when it comes to Schuler. Schuler has been coming out very strong for the German team. Definitely an impressive player who was going who was going to be looking for the back of the net for this whole game and wanting to rack up more international goals. Anyway, let's get into the first half. Hopefully Turkey will be a team that can pressure and challenge the German team. Like make Germany fight for their win. Okay, first half we're off. Both teams coming out fast and aggressive. Germany in possession. One minute. Um, one minute. De Britz crosses. Schuler taps it in. But it looks like a Turkish defender finished it. And Schuler may have assisted. Yeah, after looking at the replay, it came off the defender. A Turkish defender last. So it's an own goal. Germany 1-0. Um, Schuler will get another chance. Two minutes. Huth with the ball offsides. Three minutes ball played up for Huth. Huth can't reach it. Three minutes Magul goes down. Turkey foul. Germany free kick outside the box. Rausch sends it in. Keeper off her line. Defended away. Germany still in possession. Six minutes ball sent up for Rall. Rall can't get to can't reach it. Ball goes out of play. Good touches from Germany. Seven minutes. Lots of action in the Turkey box. That sounded funny. But I probably said turkey box a few times in this, um, in this script. Eight minutes, the Brits and a Turkish player get tangled up. Germany foul, turkey free kick. Germany wins it back. As always, nine minutes. Magul attempt blocked by the keeper. Ten minutes, ball played up for Huth. Huth crosses, Schuler heads it in. Goal wide open, no defenders marking Schuler. Germany 2-0. 11 minutes, here comes Germany again. Keeper once again off her line, goal wide open. Schuler just scores again. Germany 3-0. Don't get me wrong, I, <laughs> I am happy about that, I guess. 
Um, yeah, Schuler is just amazing and impressive. Like, this is a player you have to watch, like, now and going into the Euros. 12 minutes, Huth crosses, lots of action in the box. The Brits attempt, close, goes wide. 13th minute, Raul crosses, Raul crosses, cleared, back to Germany. 14th minute, Turkey gets the ball, Germany gets it back. 15th minute, ball crossed in for De Britz. De Britz attempt goes over. 16th minute, Bull attempt soon after. Um, goes just wide. She was really close. Germany doing great at passing in tight spaces. 17th minute, ball played up. Too much behind it for Huth. 18th minute, De Britz crosses. Schuller taps it to Magul. Magul attempt deflected for a corner. 19th minute, um, Germany corner. Rausch Attempt outside goes over. Rausch just smiling afterwards. 20th minute bull attempt deflected for a corner. <laughs> Camera cuts to Merle Fromms, the German keeper, jogging and doing some light exercises around her box to keep warm. Makes me think of uh, Mary Arps, the English keeper who was doing that during the Lat Latvia game. 21 minutes, Germany corner, nothing from, from it. Ball defended away, but still with Germany. Mini collision between Huth and Roll, but Huth still stays with the ball. 23 minutes, more action in the Turkish box. Rosh attempt blocked by the keeper. Huth crosses, saved by the keeper again. 24th minute, Turkey makes a run. Um, Turkey attempt goes wide. Germany has to be careful, like make sure they can get their defenders back there because the goal was just wide open. Merle Franz was just left wide open. 25 minutes, Huth crosses. Germany on the attack. Magul sends it, sends the ball into a Turkish player's face. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> brutal Magul. <laughs> uh, Germany still attacking. Ref blows the whistle. Looks like a handball outside the box. 27 minutes, Germany free kick. Nothing from it. 28th minute, Turkey counterattack. Nuskin wins it back. Good defending. 28th minute, Bull crosses. Schuler attempt saved by the keeper. Uh, Turkey with the ball, possession one back by Germany. 30th minute, Schuler crosses, offsides, 31 minutes, Turkey counterattack. Germany struggling to clear it. Overdorf trips up a Turkish player, Turkish player goes down, free kick awarded to Turkey. Very dangerous for Germany, right outside the German, pen the German penalty area. 32 minutes, Turkey attempt batted away by Fromms. Turkey corner, played short, Nuskin loses her mark. Ball deflected for another corner. Like, what are you guys doing? 33 minutes, Turkey corner, nothing from it. 34th minute, Germany counterattack, Bull crosses, no one there for her. 35th minute, Magul crosses, more action in the box, nothing from it. Uh, 35 minutes, Turkey counterattack, Rausch and the Turkish player fight for the ball, Germany struggling to clear it. 36 minutes, Germany corner, nothing from it. 38th minute, Bull to Huth. Huth crosses, defended away. 39th minute, collision between Raul and a Turkish player. Turkish player is down. Raul is fine. Looks like both of them kind of got tripped up. Uh, Turkish player is okay too. Game starts up again. 41 minutes, Magul surrounded. More urgency from Turkey. 42 minutes, Magul fouls after her and a Turkish player go down. Yeah, that was questionable to me. Like, trying to, they're trying to say it was... Uh, Magul took her down, but it looks like they both went down together. Didn't look like Magul pulled the Turkish player down. Just looks like they both got tripped up. 43 minutes, aggressive challenge on Schuler. Obvious foul. Germany free kick. 43 minutes, Magul sends it in. Overdorf attempt de deflected. 44th minute, Bull attempt soon after goes wide. 44th minute, ball played up for Schuler. Keeper off her line to kick it away. One minute of added time, 45th minute, Germany corner, played short and quick, Germany just passing and holding, 46 minutes, whistle blown, first half ends, Germany 3-0. Okay, so an exciting performance from Germany. Germany seems to be playing more aggressively in the sense that they are opting for a quick and fast-paced attack. Usually Germany is slower and prefers a slower, methodical, and careful attack, and it's part of the reason why I find some of the Germany matches boring. Don't get me wrong, Germany's slower and methodical attack works, but man, sometimes I just want Germany to pick up the pace. 
Compared to the previous matches, Germany seems to be doing just that, picking off, picking up the pace, and it's catching um, Turkey off guard. Despite the fast-pacing go-go-go approach, Germany is still able to keep their tacticalness and methodicalness. Well done, Germany. Germany's defending, however, could use some touching up, though. All right, let's get into the second half. Second half, we're off. Germany starts off with some sub some substitutions. Magul, Huth, and Debritz out. Dalman, Bran, and Leopold's in. 46 minutes, Germany foul, Turkey free kick. Some more aggressive play from Turkey. 47th minute, bull crosses blocked by the keeper. German players rushing in, Bran attempt, but whistle blown for offsides. 48th minute, Germany corner, nothing from it. 49th minute, Dalman fouls, Turkey free kick. 50th minute foul on Bran, Germany free kick. She was shoved from behind. Rausch sends it in, cleared away, um, cleared away, but back to Germany. 51 minutes, Leopold sends it in, ball headed to Schuler by Rall, but offsides. 52 minutes, Leopold spun and taken down, Turkey foul, Germany free kick. 53 minutes, ball played up to Bull, but too much behind it. 54 minutes, ball sent up from Dalman, kicked away. Turkey putting Germany under a lot of pressure. Very impressive for Turkey. 55 minutes, bull attempt, blocked by the keeper. <laughs> oh yeah, this was funny. She tried to send it up, like send it in by putting it through right in between the keeper's legs. In the replay, the keeper, while she was getting up, was looking at bull like, did you really just try to put it in between my legs? <laughs> Made funnier by bull just smiling. Schuler is like off to the sides, gesturing to her feet and herself because she wants to know why Bull didn't cross it back to her because she was open. I mean, yeah, Bull, Bull probably should have done that. <laughs> but yeah, she's just smiling and having a good time. I think I like this player. I like her energy. She's also a new player. <laughs> uh, 56 minutes, Germany corner, nothing from it, cleared away. 57th minute, Bull attempt, hits the crossbar, goes out. She's getting closer, like she really wants her goal, and I'm all for it. I don't know much about this player. Uh, she's new, but I want to see more of her. <laughs> 58th minute, Schuler with the ball now, offsides. 58th minute, Turkish players trying to call for a high boot, but not given. Brand or Bull crosses, deflected for a corner. Bull takes the corner, nothing from it. 60th minute, Bull crosses to Schuler. Schuler sends it up and over. 61 minutes, Brand crosses, caught by the keeper. 62 minutes, Schuler with the ball, keeper comes off her line. Schuler crosses to Brand, Brand scores, wide open goal, Germany 4 0. 62 minutes, Germany substitutions, Oberdorf out, out um, Hagering in. Germany offsides. Odd that Germany is getting a lot of offside calls. They're usually very careful about those. 64th minutes. Rauch doing a doing great at fighting off and getting past the Turkish defenders. 65 minutes, Brand chips it up, caught by the keeper. Ball sent up for Schuler, picked up by the keeper. 67th minute, Brand low cross to Schuler. Schuler scores, beautiful play. Germany 5 0. So Schuler, 33 games, 22 goals. <laughs> That's just awesome. 68th minutes, bull bull crosses. Our teammates can't get. Can't get it in. Ball eventually cleared away. 69th minute. Ball kicked into um, the Turkish box. Kicked away by the keeper. 70th minute. Turkey counterattack. Turkish player makes a run. German defender struggling to get on her. She shoots. Caught by Franz. Not bad for Turkey. But where was the German defense? Wide open goal. Franz was left with no one defending her. I get defenders wanting to be all up in the attack. But you gotta defend at the end of the day. 70th minute, another Turkey run attempt, caught, caught off early by Hagering. 70th minute, bull crosses, deflected for a corner. Um, 71 minutes, Germany substitution, Schuler out, fragging in. 72 minutes, Germany corner, picked up by the keeper. Leopold's shove down, Turkey foul, Germany free kick. 73rd minute, bull crosses, deflected, Germany corner, played short. 74th minute, Bull crosses to Fragen. Fragen taps it in, Germany 6 0. 75th minute, ball played up, Bull can't reach it. 76th minute, ball sent up for Dalman. Dalman crosses, keeper able to chase down the ball. 
77th minute bull low crosses stolen by Turkey. Germany just gets it back. Ball played up, caught by the keeper. 78th minute foul on Leopold's after a collision with a Turkish player. I mean, at least it wasn't a head-on-head -head collision. Both are okay. Brand fighting for the ball now. She, <laughs> yeah, she trips up two Turkish players before passing it to Roush. Very impressive. 80th minute, um, Roush crosses, new skin heads it in. Germany 7-0. 80th minute, yellow card on Rolf for taking down or holding a Turkish player. That's questionable. A foul? Yeah. But is it worth a yellow? No. 81st minute, ball played into the Germany box, cleared away. 82 minutes, Germany counterattack, Brand, Brand crosses to Fragen. Keeper gets to it just in time. 82 minutes. Oh, now, <laughs> now I wrote, now things are getting interesting. So some words are being exchanged between um, Hagering and some Turkish players. Like one of the German players got taken down. A foul was called on Turkey for that, but one of the Turkish players was still holding on to the ball. Um, Hagering was trying to grab for the ball, but the Turkish player wasn't letting it go. And now Hagering is exchanging some words. Leopold comes up to get the ball and the Turkish player just throws it. Um, ref calls for order now. Like blows the <laughs> yeah she blows the whistle might have been too close to Hagering's ear because she kind of jerks her head like ow I don't know <laughs> Hagering's facial expressions kind of remind me of Emily Sonnet it's kind of funny the ref is talking to both Hagering and the Turkish player probably giving them a warning or telling them to calm down and chill out game starts up again <laughs> 83rd minute Hagering <laughs> yellow card after two aggressive challenges on a Turkish player. <laughs> God, Turkish player is down. Understandable, very obvious yellow card for Hagering. Like, I could show it to someone who doesn't watch soccer and they would say that's a yellow. That's how obvious that challenge was. 84th minute, ball sent into the Germany box offsides. 85th minute Turkish player down after a small run-in with Roush who just stays with the ball. Roush barely touched her. Good possession and footwork by Bran. 87th minute Dalman pulled down. A Turkey foul, Jeremy free kick just outside. Bull takes it and Bull scores. I think she was intending to cross it. Like I don't think she was intending to get a goal but it was awesome for her first goal. Germany 8-0. 88th minute, yellow card on a Turkish player for a high boot that hits Hagering's stomach. I think that was the same player Hagering, um, Hagering challenged earlier. Yeah, both of you need to chill. 89th minute, ball sent up, can't find bull. 3 minutes of added time. 90th minute, fragging offsides. 91st minute, Germany corner kick, bull takes it, cleared. Bull crosses again, cleared. 92 minutes, Rauch um, crosses deflected for a corner, nothing from it. Another Germany corner, keeper punches it away. 93rd minute, whistle blown, second half ends. Germany wins, 8-0. Okay, so this was a very interesting and entertaining game. Schuller looks good. Bull seems like a fun player. I think, yeah, she's new to the German national team, so it's going to be interesting watching her and seeing if she's going to be a permanent fixture on the German national team. Germany kept up the same pace as in the first half, but it was interesting to see Turkey upping the pressure and getting those small opportunities for counterattacks. It was with those small opportunities for Turkey, we kind of get to see the German defense, and let's just say it needs some more work. Germany's attack in midfield is great, but the defending? Jeez, with a team like Germany, you wouldn't think they would leave their goal and goalkeeper so wide open. When it came to Turkey, there were moments where they left their goal and keeper open and the German team was able to get crosses and score. Germany needs to get their defenders and players back there to protect their goal. It's dangerous to leave an opposing team striker alone with your goal and your goalkeeper. Germany's attack and attacking midfield is always going to be great and strong, but yeah, defense needs a lot of work, especially when this team is heading to the Euros next year. Bad defending is something that will be punished by teams like Sweden, the Netherlands, England, France or Spain. Then again, it's Germany though, so I think I think they'll clean up and fix the areas that need improvement. Anyway, good game overall. I wasn't bored. <laughs> I was very amused and entertained by Bull and Hagering. 
Hagering just gives me Emily Sonnet vibes. Her back and forth with the with that Turkish player towards the end was kind of funny. Germany is just such a composed and cool team, but seeing Hagering get getting into it um, was amusing and great. Anyway, Germany's next match is November 30th against Portugal. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to watch it because Paramount Plus doesn't have it up yet. Maybe that'll change, but I don't know. That being said, that that is all I have for you guys today or tonight. I need to get to the U.S.-Australia match, so bis später.